today I'll be showcasing my favorite focal length to shoot at and telling you why you might want to buy this lens as well. If you're a photographer or a video creator like me, then you've probably come across that decision fatigue. Not knowing what lens to choose when you want to go out for a walk and shoot, and feeling the biggest case of FOMO when you see a shot that you feel like you could perfectly have captured with another lens. Over the last few months, my buddy Tommy Lumberg and I have been experimenting with almost each and every single focal length, all the way from 16mm down to 800mm. We took a photo with each and every one of my lenses at roughly every single focal length, trying to find out what focal point was the perfect one for run and gun. Spoiler alert, I was already leaning in the direction of 35 millimeter, and this is why. I found that one specific focal range from around 30 millimeter to 50 millimeter hits the Goldilocks zone every single time. It's wide enough for establishing shots to show the whole environment, but also tight enough to convey emotion in your images while still giving you a little bit of context. That perfect focal length to me is 35 millimeter. No, no, that's really good. Yeah. Is, so, this, is this your job? Or? Shut up. Okay. Yep. So we're shooting on the streets of London and I only brought out one lens because this is basically all I need. And the lens is a 35 millimeter 1.8 Canon RF. So another reason why I love 35 millimeter lenses so much is because they're so portable. Usually they're like pancake lenses or small lenses. It's the perfect lens to have if you're just walking around the city. So, by the way, every single shot in this video is shot on a 35mm lens as well. Just to give you a rough idea of what the field of view looks like. Yeah, and, and if I'm, for example, shooting a guerrilla film, if I don't have permits to shoot here, and I just, I just want to grab a couple of shots, a this... A million dollars I, for a post? No, we need more. More money. More money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you're doing guerrilla filmmaking, if you're just trying to be low key, trying to steal a bunch of shots, look at the pigeons flying by, that kind of stuff, you can, you can get it done. You can get it done because the lens is so small, so portable. That's another reason why I love this. Generally speaking, the 35 millimeter lens is a standard lens. We've seen it in so many films and photos. There's a familiarity and a sense of comfort with it. It just feels right. To top it all off, a smaller focal length corresponds with a smaller lens. So big boys like the 70 to 200 are bulky and heavy to carry around. However, the 35 millimeter is the perfect bite size banger maker. So conveniently portable. So another reason why I absolutely love this focal length is because most lenses that are 35mm are actually really, really good in low light. Yeah, they usually come in about like 1.8 or at least 2.4. 35 million! I said 35! 35 million! 35! So now, not only do you have a lens that is versatile and very portable, but it also shoots excellently in low light. This makes it probably the perfect lens, a very, very great all-rounder lens. Why haven't you subscribed to Carl Shakur? Like the video! Why haven't you subscribed to Carl Shakur? Have you not hit the subscribe button? Do it! Hit the like button! Subscribe! Take a little half inch step to the left. Yeah, cool. Alright, so if you're wondering where you can find um, a good 35mm lens, they usually range from about $150 to $500. You can find them on Amazon, B&H, depending on what kind of camera system you use. Um, hopefully this, this video was helpful if you're looking for a new lens to buy. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next adventure. Bye.